All right, so we are recording. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm so excited that we have a guest tonight. So we are joining uh, forces with our team calls tonight with uh, Team Inspire Epic Change. Did I get that right? <laughs> um, with Mona Brown. Um, so I'm glad to have everybody on. We're excited to hear what she has to uh, share with us tonight. Um, and I know some of you have seen Mona at the Louisville Market Council on Super Sunday, um, but she is from Lexington, Kentucky. Um, she is married. She's been married for 16 years. She's got two boys where she stays at home because she's a full-time Beachbody coach. She is a four-star diamond coach. She is a premier coach. She is a Success Club 5 All-Star, and like I said, she serves on the Louisville um, Market Council. So we are so excited to have Mona. I'm not going to talk anymore, Mona. I'm just going to let you have it. Yeah, and just, it's all yours, and it's all yours. That is like some major, okay, well, I'll just go for it. Well, guys, guys, everybody, thank you so much for having me tonight and our team to combine this call. We meet at 8.30, so they were very cool to come over to the 9, and I'm so glad to have everybody here. Again, my name is Mona Brown, and I've been a coach for two years. Um, I, let me know if my connection starts to uh, fade in and out, but I've got a hot spot on my phone because our internet is a mess. But I've been coaching for two years, and I am a full-time coach. Um, I met my, my sponsor, Anita Myron on a cloth diaper website. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, diapers, talking diapers. But this is the crazy thing, right? You never know where you're going to meet somebody. And this is what is so it kind of my crux of the talk tonight is about is about your your market, right? Your warm market, your cold market, adding to your network. Um, because you never know where you're going to meet somebody. And she, I was just looking for some cloth diapers, to, covers for my little boy, my, my second baby. And uh, I hadn't done this before. I'd never cloth diapered. And so I went out there and looked, and I, he was very teeny, so I needed teeny diaper covers. And I found these really pretty girl diaper covers. Girl, girl, he's a boy. I'm like, well, those would work. They're kind of unisex. So I messaged this girl, Anita, whatever, and I said, you know, I, I'll, I'll take those. And so we, me, paypal and all that. And uh, uh, she, it actually, I, I waited a few days to buy them. She like messaged me, are you going to purchase these? I said, oh my gosh, yes. So we, I bought them. And then we added each other as friends on Facebook. Well, you know how that goes, right? Uh, I followed Anita for eight months, eight months before I actually started like checking her out and I started seeing her post. I was so motivated by this young woman. I was home with my second, like I said. Um, I had been into fitness, but I kind of let myself go. My energy was low. The story we hear, mom is at home. I'm looking for something to call my own, right? Um, I know how to go to the gym. I know how to run. I know how to do those things, but I could, I could not get there. You know, I could not make it happen. So when I saw her post about a challenge group and, and Focus T25 had just come out and it was 25 minutes and I was like, I could do that. I could do 25 minutes. And I reached out to her and I messaged her and, and I said, is this something like, and she had said something, I've got five spots left for this new coach group I'm, I'm starting and, and we're going to do this fitness thing. And I'm like, it was like five days later, do you still have five spots left? You know, I was like, I think I'm interested in that. And, um, and she messaged me back and we just chatted and, and she used her script. I had no idea. Right. And I was like, I was just, I was just so excited to talk to this young woman who was so motivating to me when I was in this days, right? This mom days, no energy, nothing. I felt like I was um, a part of, I didn't feel like I was really a part of a community. I was kind of a, you know, I don't want to say prisoner at my own home. Cause that's, you know, that sounds scary, but you know, you, you feel you're just alone. And so I needed something to do. And then when I jumped in, she asked me if I wanted to start coaching. And I said, do you think I should? Do you think I should become a coach? And she said, I think you should. You get the discount on Shakeology, and you can be in this new coach training and see what you think. And I was like, okay. <laughs> you know. And so I jumped in. Uh, I knew, um, I'm 47, like I 
you know, it's like I think uh, Mandy shared, but I had known about network marketing for a long time. I had known about, about exponential income, and, and I mean, that grows while you uh, are doing other things, right? And I know about, you know, that we needed, my husband is also an entrepreneur, and I know that we needed something that would grow for us while we were doing the things we needed to do. So I knew that this could work, because fitness, there's a big pie, right? There's a big piece, there's a big pie of fitness, and there's so many little pieces for every one of us, because fitness isn't going anywhere, you guys. Fitness and people feeling good about themselves and, um, and just needing accountability and that kind of guidance from you as coaches is not going anywhere. And if you stay in this business and you just keep going forward, you're going to succeed no matter what. So that's my little pep talk for you guys. But I want to talk to you guys tonight about um, how long, what are the years, how many years have you guys been coaching? Are there a lot of new coaches here or are you like... One year, two years or younger. Like Keisha is one year and everybody else is one year, I think, right? Or like six months, very new coaches. Oh, okay. So this is a, okay. So this is going to be good. And I know that I talked to my team a lot about this and, and we've come a long way this year. Um, but I want to, let me see if I can share my screen. Um, I'm so not great at this, but I'm going to try. <laughs> all right. I always share my screen and then I'm like, where is my, where is all my stuff? Okay. Uh, okay. I've done a little. Okay. okay. Can you guys see that? Does that look okay? All right. Because I'm not going to put it in presenter mode because I don't know what it's going to do if I do that. So I want to talk to you guys tonight about, so you feel like you've hit a wall in your business, right? And what do you what do you do when you feel like your warm market has started to dry out? Like, where are my people? Um, and I have to tell you, in January, uh, even even with the success we've had with our team, I really felt like I was in a spot. Uh, I was spiraling. I was kind of going out of control with my own my own business, my my own personal. Um, day-to-day -day activities uh, and I really felt like I was hitting a wall right and how many of you guys felt have felt that way yeah yeah totally because you know what it's absolutely a hundred percent natural every coach whether you're you know six months in or ten years I mean there are coaches that have been around since the beginning you know or two years three all hit a wall and they all feel like, what, what do I do? What do I need to do differently? How can I be more creative? But here's the truth. There's no secret sauce to this business. We all um, do the same things every day. Maybe if you've been at it longer, you do it with more consistency. Maybe you do it with more, um, you do more of the things that it takes to be successful. Um, and that's what happens as you start to grow a team. But you feel like you hit a wall. So what do you do? What do you do when you feel like your, your market's dried out? So I'm going to ask you guys, hopefully this will, let's just be honest, okay, and take a look. Um, let's look at the things that could be stopping you, that could be making you feel like you're hitting that wall, because this is what I had to do. Even as a, as a you know, a Star Diamond coach, I had to go back and look at my day and be really honest with what, what it was looking like, okay? So there's a couple questions and we'll go through them. You know, what's your storefront doing? How's it looking? In your vital behaviors, every day? In your power hour, when does it happen? Those are questions, you know, you have to ask yourself um, and you have to really be honest. And you have to ask your sponsor coach or your success partner to maybe take a look at it with you. Because honesty is the only thing that's going to get you moving forward in your business, especially when you're honest with yourself, okay? All right, your storefront. We'll talk about it for a minute. Now, here's me. I do not have a like page. I have been working off my warm market for two years. Uh, and I know that that's like, some people are like, what? You know, you don't have a like page? I just don't. You know why? I could never think of a name for my like page. <laughs> so I didn't, I know that's silly, but I didn't do it. But so I just said, well, I'm going to stick to this and get really good at this. And then I'm going to try to do that like page one day. And I, and I will, I probably will. But I want to talk about this. You know, let's talk about consistency, you guys. And I know a lot of you are new coaches. 
but this is for our veteran coaches as well. You know, do a scroll. Ask your success partner or your upline coach to check out your page. What does it look like? You know, when you go through it, are you legit posting three to four times a day, right? When you go back and you look, is it consistent or is it, you know, last Thursday since you put up a post, right? I mean, that can happen, right? Um, can your followers count on you? And I heard this really, really good analogy the other day um, from another coach on our, our bigger team. Uh, she talked about, she had heard this story about, okay, so you, let's say you go to the grocery store and you're in line to check out and you pick up your favorite magazine and you're like waiting to check out, you're checking it out, you're looking, you love your magazine. All right, you're back the next day, you buy something else. Oh, your favorite magazine is there. You pick it up, you're looking at it again. Oh, I love this magazine. You don't buy it though, I don't know why you don't buy it. Okay, put it back. Then you go back another day and it's still there, you look for this new article. Oh, gosh, that's great. Okay, you go back the next day, your favorite magazine is gone. Just gone. Oh, uh, you don't think anything of it because, well, it sold out. You go back the next day, it's not there again. The next day, well, what do you know? Not there. That's how people feel when they don't see you showing up on your Facebook page or your like page or Instagram or whatever it is you're running your business from. And it is, it is your business. It is your storefront. It's like that magazine. What's going to happen? I'm going to look for a new magazine. I'm going to look for another magazine that's there. And that magazine I kind of forget about. And that's the truth. If you shut down on the weekends, if you go away for the holidays and you don't show up, you're, you're going to lose that momentum and you're going to feel like your warm market has dried out because no one's responding. No one's talking to you. you that is super important. So check that. Okay. Check that out and don't leave. Add value. You guys ask yourself, are you adding value to your followers in your warm market? Do this. Do something for a change. Do something and expect nothing in return with it, like something like a free group or value, um, Facebook live video or food tips or questions like, what are you, you know, with, what are you eating today? Or let me give you five ways to encourage you. Um, add value. Don't expect anything. And know that we are definitely wanting to help three people a month. Our goal is three people a month without um, fail, success club five, because those are our goals as business builders. Okay. That's necessary. But when you expect nothing in return and you just add value like crazy to your followers, even if it's your personal page, they will in turn come to you and they will watch you and they will be your value. They will be your valued customers one day. Um, so it is really, really important you know, it's also something that you can do that expects nothing, that it helps your team is do um, challenger shout outs and coach shout outs because um, recognition is something we're, we're working on as coaches, right? So recognize, add value. And when you recognize your team on your personal page or, or just even um, a challenger who might have been into a new pair of pants, your followers, your market is watching and they're like, oh man, okay, she's running this group and people are seeing results. That's cool, right? So add value. You got to show you, you guys. You got to show your journey. If you, if you are not showing you your workouts, your food, your struggles, then it is really hard for people to trust us. Um, it's hard for people to trust. Trust me if I don't show a workout for three weeks, right? Um, and the best thing I had ever done in a long time was be in that 22-minute hardcore test group. And it was a gift because I had kind of gone away from posting uh, my, my workout a little bit. And this made me very accountable because I had to show it every day. And it kind of changed the tra trajectory, of my, trajectory of my business, right? But then after, you know, that January lull, I had to start really looking at it again about, and that's when 20 minute hardcore came. Thank goodness. Right. So I got back into it. But you got to share you and you got to be consistent. And that just what I was saying, follow a program from beginning to end, take before pictures and excite people about your results. I am going to share these with you in whatever, 30 days, 60 days. It is super easy that whenever a new program comes out that we just jump into that. 
but we truly haven't gotten the results from that 21 day fix that we just jumped into and we did, right? Chelsea Pearson did a great training on Beach Friday Champions telling us to, uh, to really start a work, a program and finish it and show it. And that is what people want to see. They want to see your results. And if you're doing those things, people are going to feel it and they're going to want to be around you. And your warm market won't be, your warm market won't be cold for very long if you're doing those things, okay? Your page is one of the most important things you could do every day. All right. What next? Can I? Oh, here we are. Okay. All right, guys. The four vital behaviors. Um, you know, I'm, I have to talk about it. I know this isn't like Coach 101 here, but this is so important. Vital, vital, vital for a reason because they're life-giving to your business. We, it takes the guesswork about what we have to do every day. We invite by attracting connecting and inviting these in the Carl Dyker talks about that attract connect and invite you know people ask should I send out cold um, you know cold messages cold invites I mean you know that's up to you whatever your where you feel how you want to do it that's up to you but I don't think anything has to be cold even with a new friend or a new person because you're attracting by showing your life on Facebook you're connecting because you're going to actually talk to these people the new people you add we're going to talk about that you're going to talk to them and then we're going to invite them you're going to invite them to a free group you're going to add value you're going to share what you've learned with your with these new uh, connections that you're making you got to be proof the product works, guys. You know, even if even if you don't show your workouts on Facebook, which I really think you should do, if you're not doing your workout and you're not drinking your Shakeology and no one has to know because you're doing it at home, right, then you're not going to exude the confidence and the, um, uh, uh, you know, I don't know, the, I don't want to say aura, but you know what I mean? The energy, the energy that people feel because you're not going to be doing the things you need to be doing every day for your own journey. So definitely, definitely do your workout every day. Even if it's not your best, drink your Shakeology every day without fail. Read your personal development. You know, I was talking to a, an awesome coach today and we were talking about, you know, her goals. And I was like, what personal development are you reading? And she's like, I'm not. I have to be honest. And we talked about it. And she's like, I know that's missing. I know that when I do that, that I am I'm sharper. I have more conversations. I have more uh, to offer uh, in my conversations and with my posting. Because so much of our personal development comes into our posts, right? Again, recognize that's the fourth vital behavior that has been that's been added to recognize our coaches, to do a shout out, recognize our challengers. Super important, and to do that on your on your feet. All right, power hour. Oh my word, you guys, you're owners of multi million dollar businesses. Do you believe that, guys? You know, this power hour is is your time as a boss. This is your time to say, this is my business, these are my business hours, and that is so key. You have to figure out, and you know, I can't do this for you. I mean, Mandy can probably can't do this for you. I mean, we could talk to you about maybe times in your day and help you sort it out, but you guys have to figure out when you're gonna do your hour, whether it's 30 minutes here or 30 minutes there, but that's your business, and this has to happen every day. Now, I'm not trying to scare you, new coaches. This is good because there's, these are the things you can do to build your business. So set, I want to tell you something I wish I had done a long time ago. Set your business hours, right? I still struggle because my kids are off for summer vacation and I kind of just like, woo, what am I doing? But I do do mornings from like 8 to 10, afternoon from about 12 to 1, and then in the evenings after they go to bed by 8 to 10 because I really want to build my business. It's important to me. You know, this is our this is our life. This has changed our lives. And this is what we, my husband and I want to do, right? We want to do lots of things. So we want to build our business. Um, all right. So we add people every day to our network. We invite, invite, free group, challenge group, coaching opportunity. And this can happen in your posts. Um, I will tell you that in a, you know, when we talk about uh, tracking at the bottom here, it is so important to know who you talk to in the next 
the next conversations that you need to have. Okay. Um, you want to follow up with coaches and challengers at this time. You want to connect with relationships. All right. Here's your tracking system. I'm loving streak as my tracking system, but I also know people are loving Teensy, which is a paid, um, it's a, created by Beachbody coaches, so it's very good, it's very organized, um, but you do pay for it every month. Whatever you do, you've gotta know who you're gonna talk to next. You have to know from your free group, who you're gonna invite to a challenge group, and then who you're gonna invite to a coaching opportunity call. Because from your free group, to your challenge group, to your coaching, that's a great, that is a great one, two, three. Your free group, challengers, and your coaches all come in that order. And my um, coach, Jessica, I give her a shout out. She has really come up with a fantastic plan um, for her, uh, for, for all of her conversations. And I'm so proud of her because she is, she's changed, she changed the tra trajectory of her business uh, recently by, by really tracking who she was talking to. And it has come out really good for her. So. Whatever you do, you have to get a tracking system. All right. So this is kind of all leading up to, um, you know, the conversations you're having with your new people. This is my whole point about all this. You have to do these things before you can feel like, you know, has my warm market really dried out, right? And I'm, I've, I've hit a wall. But, you know, you're going to hit a wall if you're not doing these basic behaviors um, that even coaches have been around for four and five years are doing still, that I do still in two years, and I'm sure Mandy does too, of course. Um, she wouldn't have a successful team if she wasn't doing them. So now we're going to talk about that add into the network. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go over some, I'm going to first go over some um, conversation starters and inviting so that I can talk to you a little bit about you know, how you go into getting those conversations kickstarted again, okay? Um, and you can look over these later if you want. I'll, I'll definitely send this to, to uh, Mandy if she wants it. But let's just say somebody likes your transformation post or a workout post, okay? Have, I mean, and maybe you do this and probably a part of your team training. But anyone who likes anything you do on Facebook, those are conversations you can have. You know, if someone likes your transformation post, reach out to them, you know, hey, it's been a while. Thanks for liking my program transformation uh, that I posted last night. I, I really felt like it kicked my booty and I wasn't sure if you were liking it or if you were interested in, the, in trying it out. I mean, you have to ask. And then there's one that's just like, hey, it's the third one down. Just thanks for supporting my transformation journey. It's super difficult to share. And I just, you know, it just means the world to me that you're supporting me. Those kind of conversations are heartfelt and real. All of these are. You are truly just thanking somebody for liking you and supporting you. And those conversations turn into challengers and they turn into coaches because eventually you're going to say, hey, have you ever considered doing what I do as a coach? You're posting on Facebook. Oh, my gosh, you rock. And those are the way you warm up your market again. Okay, guys? Um, then it's been, you know, um, da, da, da. let's see. The last one is, uh, again, you saw you, you, meant, you liked the call to action on my page. I didn't know if you were disliking the picture or if you're interested, but I thought I'd ask you, what are you thinking? And always end with a question. So the next one I want to say is, you know, when you start a conversation and somebody's ignored your invites, okay, we all have those, all right? Here's a really good question to ask when that happens, all right? Um, first, you can say, uh, you know, are you still interested? That's one. Are you still interested in my groups coming up? I just need to know so I can save you a spot. But this one's hard. Hey, Sarah, I hope all is well. Will you help me with something? Now, I'm in the business of wanting to like help everybody, and I would love to um, kind of know what maybe I said wrong in our conversation and what I could have explained better. Um, I just, I, I just want to get better at, the, at talking to other people. I'd really love your input. Thank you. But you're asking for help. That, might, that person, even if you know, they don't want to do anything. That conversation will be started again. You have to be ready to be like, well, you know, I, I don't know. I was put off by something or not. They'll probably come back and say, no, you rocked. I was just totally busy. 
let tell me about this group again. That's how you get people re-engaged, guys. Um, and then reconnecting with an old acquaintance. Um, oh, I'm going to backtrack. I'm sorry. On the first one, that's another good one. If somebody hasn't written, talked back to you in a conversation, always say something like, I don't want to be a pest. Like, I don't want to like keep messaging you. I know how that is. Do you want me to take you off my list? Oh my gosh, people don't want to be taken off lists. So definitely, um, that's a, those two are really good ones for reigniting a conversation, okay? Um, with an old acquaintance, it's just, just offering uh, your friendship and saying, hey, I, it's been a long time, how are you? Can't wait to hear back. Those are things you have to do every day. And when you start doing these things, you will see that your warm market really hasn't gone anywhere. Guys, you will see your conversation starting to light up again. This one's my favorite. This one's my favorite. Just send a simple thank you to those who always like your post pics, comments, and everything. My friend Sandra, I'm going to use her as an example because I did this. Hey, girl, how are you? I know this makes you mad at the blue, but I just wanted to shout out and thank you. You've been so supportive of me and my business. I can't thank you enough for the encouragement you've given me by liking and commenting on my posts. I'm passionate about what I do and helping women transform themselves, and you certainly helped me believe in me, so thanks. Um, you know, I just love seeing you on my feed. How are you doing? Oh my gosh, you're traveling like crazy. Where are you headed next? That conversation, and, I'm, and I chose Sandra specifically because I think she'd be a rocking coach. <laughs> I do this with a lot of people, but she really will be. And then in the next conversation, she came back. She was doing a, a 10K and a half, and I said, hey, girl, you were just rocking it out. Have you ever thought about being a coach and doing what I do? She's like, well, yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. And I said, well, I'll keep you in. We're having a three-day sneak peek coming up. What do you think? She's like, yeah, man, totally. Add me. That's the kind of conversation you want to have, right? And that's why you do these, okay? That's why you do these simple, really simple, guys, but hard because it's hard to have conversations. We're doing this fantastic um, Developing Diamonds um, live um, training in a, in a group with our team and all these uh, coaches are getting on sharing their journey to diamond just with a live Facebook feed, um, not, uh, like a testimony. And it is really interesting. The overwhelming factor that stops people from doing things is just fear, right? It's just fear. But if you think about your job as a coach is to give people every everything they can do to succeed for themselves, right? You want to help people. If you truly believe that, these conversations will not be hard after a while. They'll be hard at first. But you're going to find that once you have these conversations, and the guys can do this too. You guys can have, you change it for you. You make it you. You all make it all you. And you just talk to people. But you got to do it. You got to do it every day. Ten new conversations a day. Five Three, if you're just starting, but the more you do, the more momentum you're going to have come fall. And that's what we're doing now. These are our slower months. You're going to have this momentum because you're doing this now. Okay? All right. Okay, so here's the question. So you're doing, okay, let's just say you're rocking all these things, right? You're rocking all these things and you're doing everything we just talked about. And you're sending, you know, 10 invites a day to your groups and you're reconnecting with people and you're, you're adding to your network from from groups you're involved with, and you are going through your feed, and you're seeing mutual friends that aren't coaches, right? You're seeing mutual, and you're adding those people. You add 10 people a day through that, that um, process. But you feel like you're still doing all those things. All right. all right, okay, here's my last couple things. All right, Gary Vaynerchuk, Vaynerchuk, he's my favorite, love him. Information is cheap and plentiful. Information wrapped in a story, however, is special, you guys. You can do all these things, and, and you will be successful doing everything we just talked about. If you're doing them. Oh, gosh, guys, your story, oh, your story is what will set you apart from the other businesses, other coaches, you know, because it's your story. And you might sit here and go, Mona, I don't have a story. I don't have any life experiences or I haven't been through anything major or, or gosh, my struggles are so deep and painful. I could not in the world ever share them with anybody. Well, here's where you're wrong. 
there is someone out there, your niche is watching you. And what you share as a story, your story is wrapped up in your post. Your, stories are, your story is you. You've got to figure out your story. And this even goes, this is part of your why, your deep, deep why that will make you scream and yell to, to just to change, uh, you know, to do this, to be a CEO, to change your life. It has to make you kind of scream. But your story, guys, you have to write it out and figure it out. And, and I'm not saying to like post your story like one night, like, you know, a whole 12 paragraphs in one post. I'm saying figure it out, but sprinkle it throughout your posting. You know, it'll be vulnerable. It might not feel good, but you will have so many people bonding with you and trusting you and being like, oh my gosh, girl, I, you know, man, I feel the same way as that. That was me. You just explained me, right? So this is why personal development and professional development is so important because it gives you courage to share your story. And you guys all have one. And your niche is your niche. And you got to share you. So let's figure out your story. Got to do that. You know, I'm going to share these pictures here. Okay, so like, you know, these are parts of stories. My friend Katrina had a huge weight loss and she shared, you know, her transformation. It was super hard for her. She's just not like, she's, she, she just isn't, it wasn't her way. She didn't feel like that was vulnerable for her, but she didn't really know how to do it. And we talked about it and she shared it. So many people were like, oh my gosh, girl, I, that, that's me. My friend Casey here playing with, oops, sorry playing with her daughter um, there is planning a meal prep, but you know, she's sharing her life as she's showing her business, right? My friend Jessica here is doing a live uh, Facebook, uh, uh, she's doing a great job, live Facebook um, talk on about pop, being on the positivity train, and it was so good, but like, she wasn't, these people aren't expecting anything, they're just sharing themselves, and that's what you guys gotta do. Share yourself, and your warm market will come out of the woodwork. If you do all these things, um, kind of as a as a your plan, right? Um, they will they will follow you again, and they will interact. So let's see. All right. So steps to engage your warm marketing and engage your new contacts, guys. You got to do the basics every day. You got to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because look, if you're not doing the basics, you, you got to get back to it. Okay. Make certain you're truly being consistent on, on your Facebook vital behaviors and your, and your power hours, right? It's part of your business. You guys own a company. And, and you know, I'm just saying like $150, let's just say you know, business fees and everything, $115, $150 a month. What if you own a McDonald's? I mean, you'd have to show up every day. I mean, you'd have to show up as the manager. You're the only manager for a while, right? It's like, what? I don't even know the overhead. $100,000 a month for a McDonald's. I'm just saying, you guys, we have a splendid company and a great business plan and a super, super product. So do these things and you will be successful. I have no doubt. Add value, right? Tell your story. You are the brand. People follow you because of you and you and what you have. You have a niche. Okay. A niche. Not you're nice. Yes. But you have a niche and speak to one person and it, it like 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 I'm, you're talking to me right and when that one person comments on your post Gary Vaynerchuk talks about this you treat that one person like they are the only one on the earth because that one person could be that one person that needs your help right um you treat that conversation like it's the most important conversation ever even if it's one like because that one like could turn into 50 million likes, believe it or not. All right, so what's next? All right, go be engaging and you will be engaged. Rock your biz, share with you. Here's what I want you to do guys to do, this is your action plan. This is what I want you to use your homework. Share, your, uh, share with your upline coach your goals for the rest of the month. How many people are you gonna help? And if you watched Corporate Day on Beach by Champions, um, Jeff Hill talked about helping two, like go for two, help two for sure, because we are in the business of helping people, okay? Write out your story, guys. Write it out. Like, talk into your phone. This is a really good tip. Turn on the, um, turn on the voice memo thing and start recording your story. Talk it out. 
Talk it out. Talk out your posts. When you talk out your posts, you're most likely going to sound like you and not somebody else. And then you talk out your posts and then you write them down. I know that sounds like a lot of work, but it works, right? So that's a way to keep your posts new and fresh. Also give value without expecting anything in return. You offer a free group. You're reaching out to someone new. You met on a, on a, on a I don't know, a, a group, a mom's group or a dad's group or a biking group or whatever group you're part of. And you reach out and say, hey, you know, I, I'm totally starting a free group. Are you, you know, are you interested in jumping in? It's just going to have fun and we're going to rock it out. We're going to do some abs, and eat some good food. And you just be you. All right, guys. So I, you know, I just want to um, encourage you guys to know that you, if, if, if you feel like things are stopped and you've hit a wall, it's usually because something's missing in the process. And that's just totally being honest. Okay. Um, because that was true for me. It was true for me at the beginning of the year. And I kind of had to step back and go, whoa been doing this for two years what's what's the missing link and I wasn't doing all of my dailies just wasn't I had gotten into the leadership role I was doing 80% leadership and 20% my business and that's the wrong way it's 80% your business and 20% helping your team okay guys so um, and, and when you're rocking your business you know your your team will too so that's really what I have to share tonight I hope it was helpful. Anyway. Absolutely. I mean, wow. I can just see how genuine you are, Mona, and it's just awesome. Thank you so much for sharing. I did want to touch on a couple of things that she talked about that I think are very important that sometimes we forget, and that's, you know, doing that vital behavior of being proof that the products work and showing starting a program from start to finish. I mean, you guys, we have 21 day fix. I mean, there is no excuse not to show a transformation of your own by starting and finishing and really holding yourself accountable and showing that. I think there's a lot to be said because I know for myself, when I fall off of my own fitness journey, I don't want to invite as much and I don't want to post on social media as much, you know, because it's not genuine, right? If I'm going and eating cheeseburgers and not working out. I mean, it's just, it does, that bleeds through. And that confidence, you're not as confident. And you know, those things just don't happen. So I think there's a lot to be said about that. So I challenge you to do that, to start a program. And you know, if you miss a day, you miss a day. Start back with the next one. I'm guilty of that. Oh, I messed up. I got to start all over again. No, just keep on going. Um, another thing that she said that I want to point out is doing challenger shout outs. You know, I think that's so important and we forget sometimes because we're trying to recruit, recruit coaches and then we get challengers and we dump them in a challenge group and then we're on to the next month because we think of success club points when we really need to think about people getting results. That's why we're doing this. We're doing this to help people. And something that I started doing this month that I actually learned from a corporate call was at the beginning of my challenge, making a collage of all the women that were in my challenge. And so the very first post, I'm like, I want to see who you are. Drop a selfie. And they all dropped a selfie. And I put that in a collage and gave them a shout out. Like these girls are going to transformation, transform their bodies. Take a good look at them now because in 21 days, they're not going to look the same. And just kind of, you know, giving a shout out to them there. Um, and I love the message about um, ignoring because I mean, who does not get ignored, right? Um, and I have done something similar as well when I get ignored, um, is just say, Hey, I, you know, I don't know if you saw my messages or not. I know I get lost in messenger sometimes. So just wanted to touch base, but I love Mona, how you really, um, you have a genuine care for that person. You're like, Hey, you know, I'm in the business of really helping people. I mean, that is so sincere and you know, why not respond to that? Right. So I really like, if you could share though that slide with us, I would love, love to see that. Um, and there was something else, your story, setting us apart, your story. And we've talked about that before. Um, and you do have to be vulnerable. I know when I first started this business, I just wanted everybody. I want everybody, you know, and I was just talking to whoever. And until I really started sharing my own story and opening up about my own life, that's when I really started connect, connecting to people. And so if you haven't done that, and if you're just trying to blend in, I mean, anybody can buy Shakeology or 21 Day Fix, 
from anybody. They can go to Amazon. They can go to eBay. But if you set yourself apart and they connect to you, you don't want to reach everybody. You want to reach your people, right? We talk about that all the time. You are my people. You want to reach your people. You want to talk, um, you know, just to that one person. Um, but I would like if anybody, we just have a little bit of time. If anybody has any questions um, for Mona or any questions at all, maybe something that she discussed that you guys have any questions about? Any chat? Struggling with? Is your Jessica on here? She is. I would love to hear what you mentioned about her tracking. Was it the tracking that she had down? She's just doing a great job. She had a total re, just a re life of her business, really. I mean, yeah. Can you unmute her? I can't unmute her. Can you? Oh, unmute okay. Her? Yeah. Can she unmute herself? Oh, sorry. Hi, girl. She came to the light. <laughs> Let's see here. I can do Jessica, do you know how to unmute yourself? Can you? There okay. she is. Talk to it. was watching the basketball game, so I was like, <laughs> I better cut another bit. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I'm actually using streak too. I had used it a while back and then I just I think I, um, I was really discouraged last year. And like Mona was talking about a wall, like I really hit a wall in December. Um, and I thought I just I need to do something different. Like what I'm, whatever I'm doing is not working. So, um, I stopped just cold messaging people and I really, started like January 1st, like the forming relationships, even like Mona said, just a simple, like, thanks for always supporting me or, um, you know, sending happy birthday messages in a private message because, you know, the way Facebook is now, if somebody gets a hundred, they'll only be able to see like 10 if they don't look at them right away. So, um, just little things like that are, Hey, I love your haircut. Where'd you get that done? I mean, always trying to kind of put a question in there at the end helps because then they feel like they have to respond back. I mean, other than the happy birthday one, but you know, if you're like, Hey, I saw you, um, ate at such and such restaurant. Did you like it? You know, was it really good? My husband and I went to try a place. Um, and actually trying to form that relationship, you know, when people are doing something or going somewhere that you're like, Hey, I really have been wanting to try that restaurant. I wonder if it's good. So Really working on the forming relationships is what's really worked for me. And I've, I mean, I've even had people coming back that had given me like a flat out no, like six months before, like a flat out no borderline. They wanted to say, don't message me again, but they didn't. So, um, I've only had two of those in a year, but, um, so that's really, that's kind of what I've been doing and just tracking them so that I know, like I do Facebook lists. So I have people that are like a potential coaches list. So I make sure I go to those the most often because I really want those people. So it's basically just your newsfeed is all the people on a certain list. So you're not distracted by 1,000, you know, I have like 2,500 friends. So, um, then I can make sure I'm going through and liking and commenting on their stuff. I don't send them a message about everything, but I'm at least like showing up. And the more you message people and comment on their stuff, they, you show up in their newsfeed too. So I'm starting to get like three, four times as many likes on things as I was several months ago. So I was going to ask, um, I use Street too, um, but I was going to ask um, Mona and Jessica, when you say you're tracking um, like your Facebook messages and things, are you moving people to emails to Streak or are you just tracking them in Streak, like putting their Facebook link and then just moving them through the conversation in Streak but keeping it in Messenger? Is that what you're doing? That's what I'm doing. I, I, I don't use email very much. I try to get their email if I can, but. What about you, Mona? Mona, what do you do? I do that. I, I move them through the conversation with whatever pipeline I've created. And then I do message, uh, use messenger. Now some people love email and I'll do email conversations now. We'll just go back and forth. And then of course, since we can see who read your messages, right? It's like, they've read your message. Right. So you can see, but I guess you can in messenger too. But email is like, you know, some people just really love it. And so I use both. Yeah, but I think Messenger probably is still more 
like yeah. but yeah but I like how you can add industry you can then put the pipelines it is some work but you know I think that it keeps me I'm a great starter I'm not the perfect finisher <laughs> I like to like do things and then so it really kind of gives me my alarms and all of those things I like it but yes yeah. it's Okay. Yeah, I find, I, I mean, I do a combo of both. I'm not the best in putting my messenger people and tracking them in streak. It's like that extra step that I need to be better at doing that. Um, I think it would help my business, but it's something that's like one of those just like extra tasks that I just like push to the side. And, um, you know, I'm, I work part-time and mom, two kids too. So I'm doing a lot from my phone. So I'm not always like get that opportunity to set up that desktop. But when I do, I have a million other things I feel like I need to do instead of putting all my messages on the street. But I found, I, I tried for a period of time to bring my messenger people to street and use email. But, and I like that for some people, but I feel like, conversations go so much slower mm -hmm. and it's easier like I know I read an email and totally forget about it and yes. so I feel like people forget about me um, too much too so I just wondered how you guys did that um, like that. um Paula asked a really good question in the chat about liking commenting on people's statuses when you're adding strangers I don't personally start commenting on their stuff for like a couple weeks unless they start commenting on mine first and then I feel like they open that door but I don't like they accept my friend requests and I immediately start liking their stuff because that is kind of <laughs> creepy. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean I um if, if we have which usually we do you know I don't feel I'm just like I like I, I think people like things. I think it's natural. I mean, I agree with Jessica said, but I think it's natural these days to like it, like like a post, even on somebody's page you're not even friends with, because some people's pages, most are a lot of are public. So it's like you can like somebody's that you know, a stranger, and they're not thinking anything of it. I have people liking my post from India. Oh Lord, I got to get rid of those. <laughs> Block. But anyway, you know, um, so yeah, it can be weird, but I, you, you know, just like Jess said, maybe wait a week or so and then start liking and commenting. And I've been doing that recently and it's been good. You know, I'm just building, just building relationships. And then I show up and my, they, I show up in their feed then, you know, that's what you want. You want them to see your journey. It's the whole thing. And I, I like that too because I know we all have gotten those messages and we have a, a pod with some of our coaches where we share our conversations and so we look and say you know I might have said this instead of this so we can learn from each other and Keisha screenshotted uh, one of her invites from another coach that had added her and it was a message this long asking her to join a challenge group telling her all about it Obviously, if you look at Keisha's profile, you see she is a star diamond coach on our team who is very successful, you know, in this business. But, and that's what you have to do, guys. Like, you can't, like, and I was on a call with corporate yesterday of one of our mastermind calls, and one of the girls that was leading the call said she cold invites 20 people a day. And I spoke up and said, I have to disagree with that because I'm in the business of building a relationship. If I just got a message to where I've never talked to someone before inviting me to something, I would feel like they're just trying to sell me something. And we always, always, always say, we don't sell, we share. And so you have to get to, hello. We have to get to know these people instead of just sending, you know, messages out, you know, and whether that's forming a relationship just through commenting and liking on social media or, you know, having a private message conversation, I feel like there needs to be some type of connection there just before you start popping out you know, um, up and out, uh, messages. Uh, I would feel creeped out by messages. I don't sit. Yeah, absolutely. And I get them from Rodin and Fields all the time. And I love that company. I use their products, but I have a consultant, you know, people, you know, they just send them all the time when they add you as friend. And we don't want to come across that way. We generally do care and people can read that. They can read if you care and they can read if you're just trying to sell them something. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. I enjoyed getting our teams together. You guys have an amazing leader. Just her positive energy just shoots out. Noah is home. <laughs> That's why I'm wrapping up. <laughs> He's home. Um, yeah, you see everybody. Uh, but you guys have an amazing leader. Amona and I have never met in person, but I just saw her at Super Sunday, and she was just the most positive thing. Like, there's just something about her that just 
that just shines. And I just wanted to have her come to our team. And I feel like she has given us so much value that we will take forward. So I just thank you uh, so much for that moment. So sweet. Appreciate it. It looks like a picture. I forgot a picture. Yes. Okay. One, two. Yay. I'll send that to you on a Tuesday. Okay. And I will, I'm going to stop recording.